I just checked out The Babysitter 2, Killer Queen. If you haven't seen The Babysitter 1, I did a review of that. So you can go check that out uh, probably here or here. Still haven't got my fingers right on which way I want to put things. Growing up is worse than a near-death experience. I can confidently tell you that because two years ago, my babysitter and her friends tried to kill me. Worst part is nobody believes me. We're all going to the lake this weekend. Just come with me. With me. I already took my dad's car. Like you seen a gorgeous black ghost. Don't worry, guys. I'm good. Where's Sonia? Getting cookies. I watched you all die. We are dead. Duh. Could this night get any more erotic? Hey, Coley. You're my killer of the night. But check that out. So let's jump into the babysitter to Killer Queen. I really really like this movie i like some of the new characters they got in there so if you don't know spoiler alert uh the old cast is back uh from the original one the first one and they're back as ghosts but they're still planning to try to sacrifice homeboy's blood uh for the sacrifice because they need an innocent so they can get everything they wish and dream the real twist here on there is that his best friend that was down for the cause, 10 toes down, is now hanging out with the bad guys. So um, I'm probably going to float through a bunch of the cast that are up in there. So uh, blah, 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 blah. You know, chick that looked like Margaret, uh, Margot Robbie, silent chick from Pitch Perfect, black dude that's real funny, um, a Bella Thorne, you know, OnlyFans. I feel like she's in something besides this OnlyFans thing, but I really don't have been seeing her anything else that I care about. So that's why I'm gonna keep it there. Uh, Arrows, cousins in it. Um, then they have some new cast members. Like I said, the best friend from the first one's all grown up now. So she's in here and she has some lackeys too, but I don't care about them at all. But uh, yeah, same kind of premise. Goofy humor by McG. It's a part in there with um, uh, the main character's father getting high with the the best friend's father. Um, it's a little funny stuff in there, but again, it's that goofy kind of horror that's just like, it's just fun. It's just one of those movies that you get with your buddies and watch, and you comment on the whole movie, and no, no one's sitting down there and seriously watching the film. They're just like making, ooh, ah, you know, making funny you know, funny quotes and stuff like that while the movie's going on. It's definitely one of those films. You'll enjoy it for that, if, if nothing else. Um, I did enjoy it. I did dig it. I'm um, finally glad that, you know, homeboy got to do his thing. The main character, I mean, got to do his thing. But the funny thing about this is that, one, I heard he wants to make, McG wants to make this a trilogy. That's one. Two, the ending kind of places the first movie in a different light. But then also when you see the ending of this one and then you think about the first movie, you understand some things in the first movie that didn't feel as authentic in the first one. So this one kind of wraps that up into a nice bow. Um, so, you know, again, you could tell that uh, Margaret, Margaret Kiddo's lookalike is making more money now because she was only in the movie for probably 20 minutes at the most. And I'm really going to be generous by giving her 20 minutes. That lets you know the day was she was like, uh, I'll be in this movie Netflix, but I got bigger fish to fry, like Ready or Not, or what is it, Ready to Die, whatever the movie she was in, that, which is a good movie too. I should do a review on that one. Um, but yeah, no, let's go into it. It, it. it was a good movie. I enjoyed it. If again, horror movie scale, I may give this a eight for campiness. Um, not as much blood and guts as I think the first one. But still enjoyable. I'll give it an 8. And that's really, really high. And I don't think the movie's that good. But if you're a horror movie fan and junkie like myself, you'll enjoy it. If you are not a horror movie fan or junkie, I'm probably going to give another 5.5, the one I gave on the first one. So if you actually made it through the first one and you like what you saw, definitely watch the second one. If you made it through the first one and you were like, ah, eh, it was okay, watch the second one. You may get feel better about the second one. If you made it through the first one and you hated it, probably don't want to watch the second one. 
probably won't like it. So that is my review here for the Babysitter Killer Queen or the Babysitter 2 Killer Queen. I prefer that. So they have it, the Babysitter Killer Queen. I wish they did the Babysitter 2 Killer Queen because I feel like that's just a better old school horror movie feel and vibe to it. Also, he makes a great um, Sarah Connor reference in the movie, which I, which I thought was just hilarious. But all right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that review. And if you check out the movie, tell me what you think. Nobody cares for you. Can't have me. Now you can find you. Can't have me. Nobody really wants you. Can't have me. Nobody really needs you. Can't have me. Nobody cares for you. Can't have me. Now you can find you.